welcome to my channel, New Body. I am Latrivia, and I will be doing a general reading for the collective audience today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber of mine, welcome back. Thank you for your support. So let me drop my dis disclaimer real quick before I get started so that we can get that out the way. Just want to let people know that while I am a holistic health practitioner, we'll often speak on mental health, physical health, health and well-being, general health, health, health. Just know that it's the energy that I am picking up on. I am not a licensed medical professional. I do not diagnose. I do not prescribe. I do not cure and I do not treat patients. If you feel triggered or resonate with my message negatively, please reach out to your licensed medical professionals and or therapists. The same for any messages that flow through me that discuss crime and violence. Just know that it's the energy that I am picking up on. If you resonate negatively by my message or it triggers you, please reach out to your local PD or your legal people. Okay? This is a general message. Not all of it will resonate with you. And that's okay. So I'm going to ring my singing bowl now to clear the energy, raise the vibration, so that I'm able to get a clear and accurate message for you and me. Here we go. All right. We've got a bit of construction going on, so I apologize. Excuse the noise. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So let's get it. See who's in our energy. What do we need to know? What's going on? And what do we need to do about it? Hope everyone's having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, whenever you see this message. Hope everyone's checking out the community tab. Don't forget to like, share, comment. And do subscribe. All right, what do we have today? So the first card out is financial restraints, and it's in reverse. So someone's going to be coming out of financial restraints. Looks like an improvement in someone's finances. Card number 13. Someone could be 31. Someone could be born January 3rd or March 1st. 13 reduces to 4. 4 is about structure and stability. So someone's structure is going to be uh, changing, possibly improving. Let's see what else is going on. The world. So the world card is also in reverse. The world card is about abundance. It's about all that you desire. It's card number 29. So what could be 29? Someone could be born 1992. February 9th or September 2nd. Let's see what else is going on here. Man holding a coin in reverse. So man holding a coin in reverse, um, in the upright, a man holding the coin is someone who is uh, financially conscious, uh, responsible, spends responsibly, um, has money, perhaps in budgets, perhaps invests. In the reverse, he's none of that. Um, in the reverse, a man holding a coin could be someone who gambles their money um, spins frivolously, confirmation, so this, this person, this masculine doesn't have any money, and I feel like, well, let me get the rest of the cards, but so far I feel like this man who doesn't have any money lost everything, the world in return, in reverse, Find out to a strength. I feel like this man is hoping, um, I feel like he bet on something that would work and hoped that his financial restraints will be lifted. 
card number 43. Someone could be 43. Someone could be 34. 43 reduces to 7. 7 is about reflection and introspection. I feel like this person with in, with regards to finances doesn't think before spending. It's just like, you know, I'll get it back. I'll get it back. And this didn't happen. With this world card, it's card uh, 29 reduces to 11. 11 is about justice. Perhaps it was the justice or karma for this to happen. Let's get some more. Storm warning. Storm warning is also in reverse. It's card number 10. 10 is about cycles completing. So this storm, whatever this is that was going on, it has passed. It's over. This could be the storm that this masculine in reverse... was trying to put you through or did put you through. Let's get some more. Action. So my action card is always like, um, when I look at the, the black and the white horse, I always think of balance, yin and yang, good and bad, um, or good versus evil, or up and down, whatever it is. Um, I feel like there's some action that has taken place. To cause balance. It's card number 17. So what could be born in 1971? So it could be born January 7th or July 1st. 17, 17 reduces to 8. 8 is about manifestation. Manifesting, abundance, prosperity, wealth, good health. It's about manifesting. I feel like there was some action that took place, which is why the storm warning is in reverse. Because the storm is over. Could be now it's time for you to take action, for you to do something. Let's get some more on that. See what it is that you need to do. Where it is you need to be. Who it is you need to talk to. Let's go. I almost forgot how to shuffle. Like, what's going on? Someone's stuck. I feel the energy of stuck. Like they just can't get it together. Whoop, whoop, where'd it go? Orphaned. I got makeup all in my nails. All right, sorry about that. Orphan. Someone feels alone and abandoned. It's card number five. It's under financial restraints. Financial restraints is in reverse, though. They feel like everyone left them. They feel abandoned. They want that to change. They're hoping that that would change. That people will come back and support them. Or that they will find people to support them. Let's get some more. Never-ending story. even the right book. Never ending story is card number 37. Someone could be 37. Someone could be born in 1973. Someone could be born March 7th or July 3rd.
So with the world card in reverse, it says that um, someone feels boxed in. They lost everything. They, they in the upright, it's all about um, expansion. Unlimited resources. They lost everything. I know what I'm talking about. Never, in, never ending story. Both these people, both these fairies in this deck, you know, look, uh, what's the word? Melancholy and despair. They both look in despair. With this never ending story, though, the fairy is sitting on an hourglass. You know, the time with the sand. I feel like whoever this person is, this person, uh, this masculine in reverse holding a coin, feels like they ran out of time. They thought the story that they were narrating would not end. It's card number 37, which reduces to 10. Cycles ending. That story did end. Unnecessary drama. Fear, envy, procrastination, and greed. As it relates to relationship, it says sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for another more complex reason. This person thought that this would, would this story for them would not end. Like, whatever they were doing would keep going. But it did end, and now they feel abandoned and orphaned. I feel like this person was greedy and thought that you collective would wait for them, man, woman, whatever, um, take it as it resonates in your story. But this person thought that they could be for the streets, run the streets, live life on the edge, and then when they were all done with living life, then they would come back to you. That's the never ending story story part but they were mistaken time ran out story ended and you moved on now this person has lost everything friends family resources for being greedy and now they want to come back to you how does that work peace they see that you have peace and they want some. They don't have peace in their life. I feel like with this storm warning, when a storm comes through, a storm could be very destructive. But then after the storm has left and the sun is shining, things start to regrow, rebuild. They want peace in their life now that everything, there's still stuff going on in their life. They definitely want peace in their life, but they see that you are at peace. Regardless of what kind of situation you have going on right now, you still feel a sense of peace like the storm is over or the storm is almost over. They want to come and disrupt your peace. Which is an oxymoron because you see this person has peace. You want that peace, but you're coming in to disrupt that peace. 
make it make sense. It don't. It says why. <laughs> why? This person wants to know why, like, why they can't come back to you, why things are happening in their life the way that it is. They're seeking answers. Um, for some, not all, you know, they're trying to crack into people's uh, Akashic records, what's against universal laws. It's prohibited, but people try to do it anyways. It's card number 31. Someone could be 31. Someone could be born March 1st, January 3rd. 31 reduces to 4. 4 is about structure and stability. Someone's structure and stability has been turned upside down. Look at that word, world, upside down. Like somebody's world is falling to the ground. And they want to know why. Which, which again, I feel is ironic because they do know why. They're seeking peace. They want to know why they can't get no peace. For someone who's caused drama, chaos, destruction in others' lives, now wants peace and wonder why they cannot get peace. I know you ain't really asking that question. So this is to the sea. To the sea is uh, uh, in reverse. To the sea is, is my um, sailing off to calmer waters. That's, uh, I feel like it's, it's an eight in tarot. Anywho, it's card number seven here. Card number seven is about reflection, introspection. It's in the reverse. Someone does not have peace. They are not sailing off to calmer waters. What they're sailing into is more conflict more challenges and more destruction in their life based on the choices and decisions that they have made. This number seven in reverse also tells me they didn't think before they acted. And now that they want to think about things and reflect upon the things that they did, uh, they have done, that they have said, now they want to, calm, they want to sail off the calmer waters. Now you gotta face that. A sea could be two things. A sea could be calming, you know, when the tide is, you know, just right and the water looks calm and peaceful. But the sea can also be destructive and tear apart ships, swallow people at sea. That's where they're at. They're about to be swallowed up at sea. They're not about to be sailing off to calmer waters. For some, it just began for them. For others, yeah, they're, they're in the eye of the storm. They are. Let's see who, what, and the who's. But the archetypes, it's always interesting. I, when I first got this deck, I was like, how do I use this? But I saw someone else use it, and I was like, I have to have it. And they still didn't know how to use it. <laughs> But this archetype is about people. So we're going to see what's going on with the people. Visionary. Visionaries in the light attributes talks about capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. So I feel like that's you, Collective, that, um, not all, but a lot of you in the Collective are visionaries. You have a vision for your life and for some you have a vision for the world and you know how you would like to see the world for others maybe it's a vision for your city for your state but you're a visionary you have a vision for how you would like to see things happen and you don't have any you're not trying to gain anything by doing that that's like for example, a visionary would like to see the homeless be helped, find suitable housing that will help them, whereas someone else who's in the reverse of the visionary would 
like to record themselves giving the homeless money. See, I just gave this man food. Why you got to tell everybody? That says without personal gain. Anywho, moving on. You have warrior in the reverse. Warrior in the shadow attributes talks about trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. So you have someone who's out there who's not ethical. Who probably just fights for the sake of fighting because they're angry and they're hurt. Hurt people hurt people. Trying to get victory at any cost. Meaning they'll do anything to win. Well, that's a lovely person. We have child, orphan, in the reverse. So child, orphan, in the reverse, talks about feeling of abandonment that stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So someone has a group of people or a community of people that they seek attention from that doesn't really serve their highest good. They don't help them to grow. An example of that could be gangs. Not all gangs, but some. Could be a group of people or a community of people who everyone has their own interest at heart. Like, we're a group and we're a family because we don't want you to come at us, but we'll come at each other. Ooh, make that make sense. Engineer. Engineer is in the reverse. Engineer in the re uh, shadow ask you talks about reliance upon mechanistic solutions without regard for emotional consequences. So this is someone I feel like uses uh, technology for the bad. Yeah. Like hacking someone's emails. Hacking someone's social media to spy, to get information, to steal. So you got a reverse engineer who who's into technology for not the betterment of others or their selves, but to steal, to deceive. This person's trying to win at any cost. And will do anything. I feel like also with this child orphan, this person does stuff for clout to appease others for attention, for status, influence. Servant. Servant is in the reverse. It's also shadow side. Uh, well, same thing. Using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward in life. So we had this man holding a coin in reverse. So now this person is going to be like, well, I can't do this because I don't have money. Give me money. Or I can't start this business because I don't have money. Give me money. Be careful of someone from your past. Could be family, friend, co-worker, auntie, grandmother, whoever. Comes, comes in, comes back in your life saying that, you know, they don't have any money. They're trying to get on their feet. Can you help me? And it's your, you know, up to you 
whether or not you want to help this person. But you have to, you know, reflect and go to introspection upon how this person got in that situation. I remember one time uh, <laughs> where I was unemployed and I went to an organization to assist me with uh, paying my rent. And the organization said, we would love to help you pay for your rent. But how are you going to pay the rent the next month? You have to show us that you will have the means to pay for your rent on the next, the following month. If you cannot show us, we cannot help you because we could give this money to someone else who just needs a leg up, but we'll have the money the next month and the month after that and the month after that. Of course, at the time, I thought that was some bullshit, but in hindsight or in retrospect, it makes sense. That's where this person is. This person's like, give me money, give me money, give me money. Well, how, what, what are you going to do for next month? Someone else will give me money. Not finding their own solutions. That's what the servant in reverse is talking about. So this person is using technology to steal maybe content, information, hack, you know, for whatever reason. But they're not putting those good skills to use to make real money, legit money, when they can. Government's always looking for hackers. And they pay well. Scribe. So Scribe popped out. Scribe talks about preserving knowledge and information. So someone could be a writer. Someone could do uh, be a blogger. Another way of making money, by the way. Yeah, someone could write for content. Exorcist. It's in the reverse. Exorcist talks about fear facing your own demons. Scribe is under visionary, so I feel like that could be someone in the um, collective because it's in the upright, you know, talks about um, preserving knowledge and information. I feel like, you know, that's really like a blogger or um, someone on social media who writes for a living or something like that. Gambler. So gambler in the reverse talks about relying on luck rather than hard work. What did I say? This person doesn't want to work. That's right, under engineer in the reverse, which for me, stealing content, stealing others' work, selling it as their own. Let me get one last one from this deck. Child Eternal. Child Eternal talks about de determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes. This person wants people to see them in, in the light if they are not. This person wants to see them as, um, you know, fresh with ideas, fresh with innovation and, and all of that, but this person's not. This person steals and lies and deceives. Well, well, how are we doing for time? 29, 31 on the clock. Yeah, this person is, um, this person wants to come back to you. I feel like this is a person in the past is mostly what we've been talking about. Um, I don't feel like this is a new person. But this person does not have any money. And the money that they did have 
or did acquire was acquired maybe illegally or acquired in shady fashions. Let's just say that. Empty well. Time to replenish. It's card number 16. Someone could be born in 1961 or someone could be 61. 16 reduces to 7. Retro reflection and introspection. Time to replenish. Someone needs to recharge. Someone needs to uh, go hug a tree. Go spend time in nature. Get around some plants. Meditate. Detox. Um, their energy, their mind, body, and spirit. Your well is empty. You cannot give with an empty well. Fortune's wheel. It's in the reverse. Luck is not. Luck and fortune is not in someone's favor at the moment. It's card number 23. Someone could be 23. Someone could be 32. Someone could be born February 3rd or March 2nd. Pisces, Aquarius energy. 23 reduces to 5. 5 is about change, but it's also about chaos, conflict, and challenges. I feel like if this is you collective with the empty well, I feel like you're going to need to make some lifestyle changes. Your, your luck is about to change with this 5. 5 being in reverse, so once it, you know, flips over. The wheel will be in your favor. And you'll need to have the strength and the energy. As well as to raise your vibration. Perhaps raise your vibration to bring this in. Root Girl. Root Girl talks about disowning the self. Someone is not, uh, what's the word? Oh my gosh. Comfortable in their skin. And they, he, she, they, them, would rather be anyone else but them. Like they portray themselves to be, um, they take on personalities of other people mannerism, style, they disown themselves. They disowned self. It's card number 46. Someone could be 46. Someone could be born 1964. 46 reduces to 10. 10 is about cycles ending. A cycle has ended. But it's in a reverse. I think someone wanted to make some changes by like a certain time. I think someone wanted to be you, collective. I don't know if there was a certain time to do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that cycle is, is coming to an end. It hasn't ended with 10 being the ultimate completion. With 10 being the ultimate completion, I feel like They're running out of time, but luck is not in their favor. It says, luck and right timing. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. And it's in the reverse. I just heard this won't resonate for all. This won't resonate for all, but someone needed to unalive someone by a certain time to get this wheel of fortune. And they did not do that. Someone needed to unalive someone in a certain time and take over that persona, that identity. 
Wow. Things people do for money. Fame. Fortune. Status. Whatever. Willow the Wisp. Willow the Wisp is in reverse. Talks about treasures hidden in the shadows. What was done in the dark will be shown in the light. And as I just said, I feel like someone tried or wanted someone unalive so that they can take over their persona, their personality, their identity, whatever, by a certain time. But that's about to be brought to light. If something was stolen, treasures hidden in the shadows, it's about to be revealed. If it hasn't already. Card them 62, someone could be 62, someone could be 26. 62 reduces to 8. 8 is about manifestation. It wasn't manifested. Alright. What should I close out with? My oracle cards, I have no idea what the names are. I'm sure that there was a name. I just didn't print them out. The Rebel. The Rebel, yeah. We like more, more, more. Freedom, defiance, originality. I feel like this is you, Collective, with the freedom. You're about to bust out these chains. See the chains holding her arms down, but she's lifting them up because she's about to bust out. I feel like also you are the rebel because people try to control you, corner you, box you in. They felt like you were defiant when you were just being you. Craftsman. Craftsman talks about skill, attention to detail, mastery. Crone. Crone is in reverse. Talks about inability to let go. Fear of change. Bitterness. <laughs> so I feel like there's an older woman. Crones are usually, uh, I feel like, older witches maybe. Um, who didn't want to let go of you. Who wanted control of you. Who felt like you were a rebel. Who didn't want you to be free. Who felt like you was defiant. And they feared change if you were to be free. If you were to venture out on your own. Be on your own. Do your own thing. Um, be the master of yourself. The creator. Creators also in reverse talks about self-doubt, uninspired, and vanity. The scholar. Scholars in reverse. Talks about ignorance, misinformation, narrow-mindedness. I feel like this crone had a very narrow mind of who you were, who you are, or who you were. I feel like they were vain in the things that they were trying to do towards you. Either they had mis if either they had misinformation regarding you or they put out misinformation regarding you. But you're about to break out. You're about to show the world who you are. Love that for you. Let's get this angel number. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. I feel like that's significant. Aside from being the angel number, but 
One, two, three, one, two, three. Stepping stones, you are on your way, collective. You are on a distinct path and are well on your way to your goals. Little things matter. Pay attention to details as each choice you make presents a small part of the big picture. One of these. Yeah, the craftsman talks about attention to detail. Visualize a path in front of you leading you to your heart's desire. Visualization, visualization exercises are good. If you cannot visualize your future, then how are you going to create it? No one knows you better than you. Don't let anyone tell your story. Because no one can tell it better than you. This is your message. I thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.